Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Audrey. If you're returning, welcome back. Sorry for the lighting. It is three o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm trying to sit in front of the window to get some natural light, uh, but it's just a little bit darker in the house right now. So I have quite a bit of stuff that we got for our puppy that I wanted to share with you guys. The girls are sitting here relaxing, so you might see them pop in and out of the video. Okay, let's start with, this is something that I looked at so many different ones, his water bowl and food bowl. This is supposed to like suction down. It's called Top Paw. And I, would, I will say that I've noticed because we've been using all of this stuff for over a week now, that this bolt, like the metal bowls themselves, suction really well. Um, we found this at PetSmart, I believe. And so you see it's two bowls that are really easy to clean and it is gray. Mommy. Yeah, baby? You see a uh, Roycey? Okay, next. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's next to me in no particular order. I have treats that I use to try to train him and then we did go with um, Purina Pro Plan. It is really hard to find in stores close to me. So I think that I'm gonna have to use Chewy. I think it's the app. It's I'm not like it's not sponsored or anything. This video I just I love the app. I've looked through it. I haven't ordered on it yet, but I am thinking that that is going to be what is going to work best for us. So Purina Pro Plan, and I want to say we went with something not chicken because apparently um, French Bulldogs sometimes have allergies to chicken and so it was one of the other i want to say it's lamb i already poured it into which i forgot to bring over here his like cute little container and i know what the bag look like looks like i want to say it was lamb though so we went with beef flavor these are training um rewards by pet botanics and we got two different kinds you can see we were using a lot of this one um bacon and beef and then we also got the mini bites by Neutro, I think it's called. And those are actually like in a super cute shape. I don't know if you guys can see that. So they need a lot of like training rewards. I'm really trying to do like positive, you know, rewards when he goes potty outside. And it's been hard. I think that, you know, he's still so little. And so he kind of just, he'll have accidents in the house. And so we tried... Um, we bought something that, you know, makes it for his own space. And then he's not on the carpet having accidents as often. So we got him like, it's like a play yard, his own little fence. And then I'll try to find a picture and insert it here. And then we also got him his own crate. So I'll also find a picture of that and insert it here. So with those two... You want to be in the, the video? Yeah. Video. So with those two um, things that two. stays in the kitchen area, like walk, like not the kitchen, but like right by our entryway. And it's a safe place for him. And if he has an accident there, it's an easy cleanup for me. So what else do we have for him? Show them. Um, okay. Toothbrush. A toothbrush. So I thought this was pretty cool. I'm going to try it today. I'm going to try it today. Um, it is vanilla ginger flavor, which I don't know. I tried to stay away from peanuts, anything peanut like flavor. Um, I know that dogs may love it, but since one of my daughters has an allergy to it, I just don't want to do peanuts uh, in the house. We have to peanuts everywhere. Yeah. So this is the Arm & Hammer style and I like that it has this like finger one okay you sh you're showing mommy's favorite this is not for him <laughs> this is for me um eventually it kind of is for him it's going to be a decor of like where I hang the leashes I kind of have it like planned out in my head for the future so that's what this is for what else do we have 
this. Okay, so these are like the poop bags and how cute. I have a red one and I have a gray one, if I can hold it. It's like a little dog bone. And then you put these rolls um, to pick up poop. So, got a bunch of those. So this one here is what the vet recommended. So we went with that ear wash. And then we also gave him a bath already. And we decided to go with the Burt's Bee for Puppies 2-in-1 Tearless Shampoo and Conditioner. And honestly, it worked so good. And he did so good in the bath. I was kind of nervous, actually, because he's so little still. And I didn't want him to, like, jump out or hurt himself. But he did great. Okay, so this is one of his favorite toys, you can tell. I already had to, like, wash it up. It does squeak. And he is, like, on his leash right here. Um, but it's, uh, I don't know. What animal is this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's this animal. Comment down below. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, we don't know. Um, I don't even want to like guess because I know you guys are going to laugh and like say in the comments if that's definitely not what it is. Hedgehog maybe? We got I don't know like guys. It's kind of like blowy. Yeah, it is kind of like Ricey. Ricey, you want to switch me? Look at him got this cone. Okay, so this is Mom, another. This is the, like, kind of like a cone. This is one of the first toys the toy. we got for him and the reason the is he joined our family around 4th of July. So to me, it would look like kind of 4th of July. -y. And then he also has like a duck one that is one of his absolute favorites. And I actually keep that one in my car my because, you know, then he has it when this we want to travel. Rosie, catch it. Okay, next we got him this starter kit bones. Okay, and it came with this bone for like the start one. Honestly, he doesn't love them. Are you going to go give it to Rosie? Go give it to him. Go give it to Reese. He's gonna love it. He doesn't love it as much, but maybe he'll love these other ones. So I don't know how like quick I'm supposed to graduate to because there's like steps. So there, I got that. Um, we do have some training pads. However, I have yet to use them. Comment down below, do you guys use training pads or do you guys just train your dog to go outside? He does do great going outside. He just can't hold you know, his pee all the time or poo. And so sometimes he has an accident. I noticed that from day one, he has loved this blanket. What's funny is I made this blanket back in college. Um, so I decided I'm going to end up finding him his own fabric and I'll make him one. So that's kind of why I just wanted to like share with you guys. He loves these like tie blankets. And then, oh, this is also more for me. I'll be honest, TJ Maxx, how cute is this bag it like literally takes the whole screen i'll like come over here um little puppies all over it so cute so big so that's where i kind of store all the extras something i never even knew i needed is this water bottle um we use it all the time like you can tell there's water in it especially like to go out to the garage and he goes with us you don't want him to overheat um this was a gift from the breeder and you put water in it and then you like squeeze it and then the water is in here and he can just drink it it's so cool so there's that cool little thing kelly rose picked this toy for him it's huge so we haven't even given it to him yet um, he did see it up here and wanted it though. So that was kind of funny. So that's from Callie Rose. That was her choice. Again, kind of 4th of July themed. Um, let me go ahead and I know what you guys are waiting for probably to see him. So I will pull him on up here and I will show you like what I fell in love with. And I was like, this is his bed. Mind you, he does have two beds. One of the beds is, let me go pull it out. Hold on, I got two things to get. Okay, sorry, I'm all over the place because I got the kids, I got the puppy here. We got dinner going in a little bit. So you guys know mom life. So this is this cute little bin. I'm thinking I'm going to type his name like with like some letters. Eventually I'll get the cricket. I, I'm obsessed with them. I keep seeing people post all about them and I want one. So maybe one day. I will do that and like dog bones on the top. How cute would that be? Anyway, so this is his dog food in here um, with a little scooper. 
This is the dog bed that goes inside the crate. Whoa. And I was kind of worried because you're going to see his other bed that I fell in love with comes apart like it unzips and you can wash that part. And this one doesn't. And I was like, oh, that's not going to work. But at the store, I was reading the washing instructions and I'm like, OK, that'll work for me. I'll just try it. And already because he had an accident one day, we had to wash this. And so it doesn't even look like I washed it before. And it's just like brand new condition again. So this is a cute little cushion bed for inside his crate. Um, and it's like gray with like this texture feel. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna try this. Racy, do you say hi? Oh, look, Racy, do you look like him? Let's look, let's look. Do you look like him? Does he look like Racy? Oh, you wanna hold it. Oh. Racy, do you say hi? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Oh. Okay, so this is his bed. I don't even know how I can show you with him in it. <laughs> okay, hold on. You want him? Here you go, Racy. Okay, we're gonna try to not have him on his leash for a second. Okay, this is his cute little bed. Let me try to back up. Racy, look. Racy. I have all his stuff on the floor, so he's like, let me get it. There you go, Royce. This is his bed. This was the first thing I purchased for him, um, along with this. So the cute stuff. And he just ran away with a Barbie. Girls, we gotta pick up our Barbies. He just took one. Royce, he took one. No, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 go tell him. No, no, no. So this one is so nice. It unzips at the bottom so you can wash it. I honestly don't want this though in the crate with him. Like this is something I want to keep nice for him for when he's like past the puppy stage. Um, even though you can wash it, I just think he can get the other one a little bit messy or like bite on that. But until he's fully trained, um, this kind of just stays in the living room. He gets to lay on it still, but like supervised. <laughs> Uh, if you guys have puppies, you guys know they just like to chew on everything. So we have two leashes. One of them I purchased, one of them the breeder gave me. And then his collar I purchased, it was just a gray one. But I did tell you guys that I want to get one with like his name embroidered in it or something. And some, oh my gosh, my friend over here on YouTube, Rachel told me I should get a little dog tag that is a car, if I can find it, like a Rolls Royce, so cute. Anyway, so that is pretty much everything we got. We have two leashes, like I said. I need an outside leash though. That is what I noticed I am missing because this is tearing up my two leashes that I bought just to walk him. Um, oh, wait. I am like, <laughs> I'm all over the place in this video, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, here's another thing that we got him. Cute little br uh, hairbrush, which he does okay with it. Like we try to do a lot of positive. We, you know, give treats. Um, he doesn't love it, but he doesn't have super long hair, so we don't have to do it uh, multiple times a day. It's just like, you know, once a day, just a little bit. He's little. And we got him this harness, which it's so funny. It's too big. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. So we zip tied this part for now and it works perfect for his size. And then when he grows, I'm going to cut this and then it should fit him just fine. So that's his harness. We don't always walk with him with a harness, but if we're going further, if we're going like on the little bike thing that I push and he sits in it, it's so cute. Um, I'll insert a picture here. That's us walking all together. I love it. And um, he'll wear that little harness. And so I need a new leash to be outside for him. And then I would like for him to like a bone. He really likes sticks. Like we have a stick right here in the yard. He's obsessed with it. We found it on our last walk and that's what he likes to play with most, a stick. You spend all this money and they want a stick. I, yeah, anyway, so comment down below am i missing anything what do you guys think i should get for him next um i'm just so happy that 
that the kids are playing with him, loving him. He, he's just brought so much joy to us. And, uh, Ricey. Okay, see, so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See us on the side. Subscribe. I'll Have see you in my fun. next one, guys. Bye, guys. Have fun. Have fun, she said. <laughs> Let me tell you, training a puppy and a toddler to go potty at the same time. I don't know what I was thinking, but we're going to make it through. I know it.